Here we are in our untitled document ready to add or insert text, insert images, insert a table, and links. So we're going to start with first naming our document. But before we do that, I want to direct your attention to this area right here. As soon as I start to make any changes, notice how it's auto-saving in our Google Drive. So every time you make changes, it's going to be automatically saving those changes and updating that document um, as you're working in it. So you can type um, you can to insert text. You can just start typing your text. I want to point out this um, toolbar has several different formatting options for you when working with text. Again, you can hover over it and get the screen tip and it will pop out and tell you what to do. One area that I do want to highlight is your styles area. Right now you can see that we're in normal text, but if you would like to apply a different style, you simply click on it and apply that style to the text that you have selected. If you uh, want to change those styles, you would click on it and make the changes that you want. Let's say you don't like the style of font, you want to change that. And you could update that style to match. So anything that you would apply the title style to after you make the changes would reflect that. Okay, let's move on to inserting images. You certainly can go from your menu bar and choose insert image, but there is a shortcut button on your uh, toolbar over here. If you click on the little drop down arrow beside it, it gives you your choices. Your first choice is you can upload an image, you know, from your computer, from your, your storage space that uh, any images you have saved to your hard drive. Your second choice is to insert an image by searching the web. We're going to come back to that in just a few minutes. You can certainly insert an image from your Google Drive and it will bring those choices up to the side if you'd like to put that in your document. If you have any photos in Google Photos, you could do that as well. You could um, uh, insert an image by pasting the URL within this and you can certainly insert an image using your camera uh, built into your laptop uh, on the fly. So let's go back to inserting an image by searching the web. Again, it will pop out your search area in Google Images, and I'm, we're just going to search for a dog. I'm going to find an image that I like, click on it, choose insert. Once the image is on your document, you can click on it and edit it by resizing. You can use, again, some of these toolbar choices and make some changes. When you go to image options, you have some very basic editing tools for the image. And you can crop the image up here. You could put a border around it. Just some different uh, tools on the menu bar. If you have text on your document that you're needing to work around the image, you want to look at these two options here and how you want your image displayed with your text. The next tool we're going to take a look at is inserting tables. So again, uh, we're going to look at the insert uh, menu choice, choose the second one table, and we're going to kind of draw our own table or sketch it out. I'm going to go three by three. A couple of things that I want to point out is when you are in a cell, you can change the background color of that cell only. You can select an area and change the background color of the area that you selected. Or you can certainly select the whole table and change the color of your whole table. Another feature that um, you can do with tables is you can select cells or you can select a cell or the whole table and you can change the border width, make it a little more defined and whatever um, width works for you. You can also change the border color and um, the, how it's displayed. If you are in the table and you decide, you know what, I need um, one more column to the right, 
you can right click and choose insert column and you can do that from different cells if you wanted to insert one to the left or right you can do the same thing with rows insert row below or above but also if you're at the end of the table and you want to continue the rows on you can press your tab button and that will add another row as you're working the last feature that I'd like to show you is inserting links. Again, you can choose insert link from your menu bar or you do have the insert link button, shortcut button on your toolbar. It gives you an opportunity to type in what um, text you would like to display. And then you can certainly paste a link in or based on the text you put in, it does pop out some choices. Um, and if you'll notice if I add schools to that, then it, when I click here, it does pop out, you know, it updates the choices to reflect what I have put in the text. So again, you can open a new tab and copy and paste the link in or choose a link from this drop down and that will reflect in the text you have and make it a hyperlink. So we have covered inserting or adding text and some of the formatting for that, inserting images and some of uh, ways to format that, inserting tables, different uh, options you have there, and inserting links. Hope you can use some of these tools. Thanks for joining me.